Real estate agents, realtors, mortgage professionals, real estate advisors, whatever title you want to call yourself, this video is for you and you're going to want to watch all the way to the end because today I'm giving you five AI tools that you should be using as a real estate professional to not only make your life a hell of a lot easier, but to get better client satisfaction, better content out into the world and ultimately generate more business for yourself. If you haven't already hopped on the AI wave, there's a lot of information out there and it's really hard to know where where do you start? What tools are useful and what tools aren't? And especially when you're looking for advice that's tailored toward a more specific industry like real estate. But lucky for you, you don't have to look anywhere because I put together this video of the five AI tools that you should be using in your repertoire of secret weapons. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So number one is going to be OpenAI, ChatGPT, DALI, that whole sort of envelope of tools. The reason why I'm saying all of OpenAI and not just ChatGPT is because they also have DALI, which is a really cool image generator program that I use a lot for some of my blog posts and LinkedIn articles. Now, if you haven't already tried out ChatGPT, you're missing out a lot because this is a game changer in just all technology, not even real estate technology, but just the entire world. ChatGPT changed the game when it comes to how the everyday user can use AI. If you're not familiar with it, I'll give you a quick rundown. Basically what ChatGPT is, is think of it like a bot that you can talk to and it can give you back answers or advice. So a really quick example would be, I'm a real estate agent in New York and I need a catchy slogan for my business business card, generate me five slogan examples. And then it'll pop out five different examples that you can use for your business card. Now that's like the most basic version of ChatGPT. If you really learn some prompt engineering and some little tricks that you can do to tweak the messaging or the prompts that you're giving ChatGPT, it really is like a cheat code into life. I mean, it can give you so many answers and so many things that you would normally Google and spend time searching through articles and reading through documents and all this stuff, ChatGPT can just give you the answer like that. But the question I'm sure you're really asking is how can you as a real estate professional use ChatGPT to your advantage? There's probably about 5,000 different ways that you can use it in your real estate business, but I'm gonna go over the top three that I use in my business. So number one is I use it in almost every automation that I use for my own real estate business, as well as all of our automations that we do for our clients. Now that's a much more advanced use case for ChatGPT, so I'm not gonna go into the details, but basically as you set up these automations, you can get AI to do the things for you that you would normally be spending time doing. Think of things like writing an email for you or responding to a text message. The second way that I utilize ChatGPT in my real estate business is to help me come up with content planners. So depending on how far ahead I wanna plan, maybe it's weekly or maybe it's monthly, I'll go onto ChatGPT and I already have a prompt started that kind of describes my business and sort of my style, has my website URL so that the AI can look at my website, see what my brand is all about, see what kind of my voice is, and then I'll tell it how many content ideas I need it to create. From there, it's gonna develop an entire weekly or monthly plan for me of the different videos I need to shoot, the content ideas, the title for it, the captions, the hashtags, everything, it creates it all for me. And there's a few things that I need to tweak here and there depending on what it writes, but it saves me hours of time every single month not having to come up with 80% of all of the ideas and work. And then the third way that I utilize ChatGPT slash OpenAI slash DALI in my real estate business is I use DALI Image Generator to generate me really cool images for my blog posts and my LinkedIn articles. So again, I've already created a pre-written script for this AI that says, look at this article that I wrote, get the general idea for it and create me an image that'll be eye-catching and will make people stop scrolling while they're scrolling through LinkedIn, let's say. And then it'll create me a really cool and unique image that is super engaging and makes people tend to stop and read the article. The second tool that I highly recommend for your real estate business is CapCut Video Editor. Now I know what you're saying right now. That's not an AI tool, that's a video editor. But this particular video editor actually has a lot of AI features in it, which makes it super easy to use, super fast to edit a video and very intuitive. Definitely the most used AI feature within it that I use is the auto captions feature. So what I do is I edit my entire video and I clip everything and I chop it up and I do whatever I need to do. And then from there, I go up to the text panel and then I go to auto captions. Then you set your language and you start the captions and it's gonna listen to the entire audio of your video and it's gonna automatically generate captions for you. And then from there, you can change the text style, you can change the color, you can change the size. You can even chop it up if you want, you know, only two words or if you want 
on a full sentence on the screen. So that feature has saved me a ton of time with all my videos that I make and definitely one that I would recommend for you to try out along with all the other features that they have within the software program. And there's always new ones being added too. So I'm not even on top of every single one that CapCut has. The third AI tool that I would recommend for your real estate business is Opus Clip. What Opus Clip does is if you have a very long video or let's say a podcast, or maybe you did a YouTube video, you can upload it to Opus Clip. And what it's gonna do is chop it up into smaller bite-sized videos. So you can post it to some short form platforms like TikTok or YouTube Shorts or Instagram Reels. This makes it super, super easy to generate a mass amount of content because all you have to do is film one long video and then let Opus Clip chop it up into like 50 other videos. And then you have a ton of content that you can post throughout the week or even throughout the month. The fourth tool that I would recommend for you is called repurpose.io. This is a very simple tool, but it's a very handy tool because it saves you a ton of time when it comes to posting on social media. What it does is it takes one of your videos or pictures from one of your pages and it reposts that to all your other platforms. So let's say you post a video on TikTok. It's going to take that TikTok video. It's going to post it to Instagram. It's going to post to Facebook, to LinkedIn, all of your platforms that you have. It's going to repost it and repurpose it across all the platforms. I love this app because I used to spend like an hour to two hours a day posting on all the different platforms. Now I just really have to worry about posting on one platform and I know it's gonna go to all my other ones. Number five is the tool that I would say is the most useful and every single person who is a real estate professional or really any person in the world should be using an automation tool like Zapier or like make.com. You can choose either one. There's kind of pros and cons to both. I find that Zapier has a lot more integrations that you can connect with, but make.com is a lot easier and just more visually pleasing to use. So I find myself leaning towards make.com a lot of the time unless they don't have a certain integration that I'm looking for, I might go to Zapier. But either way, they both do the same thing, which is they automate processes in your life. Now, a lot of people, when I tell them about these tools, they immediately say, yeah, but I don't know what to automate in my life. It's very simple. Anything that you do repetitively throughout your day, throughout your week, throughout your month, you can probably automate it. Things like social media posting, writing blog articles, managing your client's documents, adding dates to your calendar, replying to emails, things that are repetitive and monotonous and tend to use the same system, the same tools, the same process every time, you're going through the same motion to get the job done, you can automate it on one of these tools. A lot of the automations that we build out for our clients in our agency are built on these. We do some custom coding ones as well, depending on what's needed. But once you learn how to use these tools and integrate AI into it, it is an absolute game changer and will free up so much time for you that you're gonna pick up a random hobby. Like you're gonna start being the best pickleball player that you've ever seen because you have all this extra free time now. So if you are a real estate professional, I'm telling you, you definitely need to be on these platforms or reach out to my agency because that's what we do. We set up these automations and we run them for you. But either way, you need to be automating processes in your life and in your business because it's kind of just like having a second version of yourself doing all the things in the background that you don't want to be doing. Lastly, I'm going to give you a bonus recommendation, which is listingai.co. Now what this tool does is it very simply writes your listing descriptions for you. Now hold on for a sec. If your first reaction was, it's a listing description. It's not that hard to write. That's probably because you're not writing it very well. Now, maybe you just have a natural born talent to write listing descriptions. I don't know. But if you're like me, you don't. And a tool like this can really help. I mean, think about it. A listing description is one of the only little sales pitches that you get to put in your listing. And it's essentially the only description that a customer is going to read online when they're looking at your house on Zillow or on realtor.ca or .com. So having a listing description beautifully written with engaging keywords that really catch the user's attention can really go a long way. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, check out my other clips where I talk about AI, how to integrate it into your real estate business, which tools you should be using, chat GPT prompts, everything AI to do with real estate. All the links for every tool that I mentioned in this video are in the description below, as well as a link to my calendar if you ever wanna hop on a call and talk more about how things in your business can be automated, how we can integrate AI to save you time, get you more leads, or just make your life more enjoyable and a hell of a lot easier with these tools. I also created a PDF guide on the five best ways to integrate AI into your real estate business, and that link is in the description below as well. If you like this video and you got value from it, feel free to like, follow, subscribe, do all that stuff. And thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.